steam participants of the donors meeting for the Guyana Shield facility. I send you warm greetings from the Secretariat of the Convention on Biological Diversity in Montreal, Canada. I very much wanted to be with you, but unfortunately your meeting overlaps with the 19th meeting of the CBD's subsidiary body on scientific, technical and technological advice being held this week in Montreal. Thankfully, the Guyana Shield facility was able to accommodate this video message instead. Ladies and gentlemen, the fourth edition of the Global Biodiversity Outlook, or GBO4, officially launched on the opening day of the 12th meeting of the Conference of the Parties to the CBD in 2014, focused attention on global progress towards achieving the Aichi biodiversity targets. The report notes, for instance, that while efforts to reduce deforestation have slowed the rate of forest loss in some areas, the overall trend indicates further decline in natural areas by 2020 if additional action is not taken. The GBO4 also lists the protection of coral reefs, conservation of species facing high risks of extinction, reduction of pollution and the restoration of degraded ecosystems as other areas requiring greater national attention. GBO4 concludes that coordinated actions by governments, donors and civil society, the kind of coordination that the Guyana Shield facility provides, are essential for the achievement of the targets. For several reasons, the Guyana Shield facility is an important partner for the CBD and provides an essential level of coordination in the region that would not otherwise exist. At this, at its second meeting held in Jakarta, November 1995, the Conference of the Parties of the CBD adopted the ecosystem approach as the primary framework for action under the Convention. Regional initiatives that follow the ecosystem approach are therefore very welcome, in particular those that cover such important ecoregions as the Guyana Shield, the ecoregion that includes the most intact continuous stretch of tropical forests in the world and the one that has some of the highest levels of biodiversity, endemisms, as well as indigenous peoples and local communities and cultures, each with their own unique ways and solutions to manage the natural resources in their lands. Maintaining and strengthening the unique biodiversity that the Guyana Shield ecoregion harbors will require coordinated actions between governments, local communities and indigenous peoples and the rest of civil society. The CBD Secretariat is therefore pleased about the important level of support that the Guyana Shield facility provides in this ecoregion. I would like to make special mention of some of the the facilities project that helped to achieve the Aichi biodiversity targets. The Forest and Remote Sensing Exchange Network, or Forcing, is uh, helpful to achieve Aichi Target 5 on forest conservation and reduction of degradation and fragmentation. Other projects such, such as the Guyana Shield Priority Setting Platform, the Water Views and Information Sharing Network, or Wavings, the Guyana Shield University Network and the International Society for Biodiversity of the Guyana Shield and its periodic congresses are other important contributors to achieve many of the Aichi targets. I will list only a few of those globally agreed targets that the, uh, the facility contributes towards, including target 11 on protected areas, target 12 to prevent species extinction, and to raise the conservation status of those species in decline, target 14 to conserve and restore ecosystem services, and target 15 to promote ecosystem resilience through the conservation and restoration of degraded ecosystems, hereby uh, contributing to climate change mitigation and adaptation. I am happy to inform you that last month the Secretariat of the Convention on Biological Diversity organized a GRUGLAC regional workshop for capacity building for achieving Aichi biodiversity targets 11 and 12 in Curitiba, Brazil. Three of the six Guyana Shield facility countries, Brazil, Colombia and Guyana, participated in this workshop and provided status, 
gaps in opportunities on each element of targets 11 and 12, along with priority actions these countries will undertake in the next five years, which contribute to achieving these targets at national, regional, and global levels. I am also happy to invite your attention to the Global Environment Facilities new regional program to protect the Amazon, to help protect over 80% of the Amazon and boost efforts to combat uh, climate change. Two of the Guyana Shield facility countries, Brazil and Colombia, are participating in this regional program. The CBD Secretariat, through the LifeWeb initiative, has worked closely with the Guyana Shield facility to promote the development of biodiversity corridors in the Guyana Shield ecoregion. I am pleased to see that these efforts have produced agreements by the governments in the region to cooperate to establish biodiversity connectivity corridors at ecoregional scale after meetings in Guyana in May 2014 and in French Guyana in October 2014. Connectivity and transboundary conservation are proven methods to achieve multiple conservation and development goals simultaneously, but they do not happen without the support of regional initiatives such as the Guyana Shield Facility. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you move forward with your important meeting, but I want to first flag to your attention the urgency to strengthen conservation and sustainable development initiative in this important region to prevent threats from becoming worse. 1% of pristine forests in this re eco region have already been lost to illegal logging in the past decade. And informal gold mining in the Guyana Shield has already resulted in widespread environmental and social disruption. This gold mining results in significant forest degradation along rivers and endangers human communities and their livelihoods downstream from the impact of mercury pollution. Countries in the, in the region have expressed their interest to work together to address these issues, but this will require the assistance of organizations such as the Guyana Shield Facility with a regional mandate to help coordinate and raise the necessary financial take action. I understand that this meeting today in Brussels will be important to generate needed support to implement the ambitious work program of the Guyana Shield Facility. I wish you all the best in your deliberations and I ask that you carefully consider strengthening your support for the ecosystem approach and the regional coordination function of the Guyana Shield Facility as an essential component of achieving the Strategic Plan for Biodiversity for 2011-2020 and the Aichi Biodiversity Targets. 2020 is rapidly approaching and there is an urgent need to upscale our efforts if we wish to achieve success. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to commend you for your foresight in supporting the Guyana Shield Facility. I would also like to express my gratitude to the participants of the globally important work that you are involved with. Good luck with your meeting and I look forward to hearing about the successful outcomes. Thank you.